What's up YouTube? My name is Kenneth. Today I'm going to show you how to solve the gear ball. Before I show you how to solve the gear ball, let me first give you an overview on how we're going to solve it. Step one, we're going to solve the corners. Step two, we're going to put the edges in the correct position. Step three, we're going to orient the edges. And then step four, we're going to rotate the gears and that'll solve the cube. Now, at any time, if you want to jump to the next step, or if you want to rewatch the step you're on, I'll put annotations on the screen and you can jump to where you need to go. All right, let's scramble it up. So step one, we need to solve the corners. Now solving the corners is pretty easy and you probably can do it by yourself with just intuition. But let me give you guys a quick walkthrough of me solving these corners and how I would go about it. I always start with the red side, so let's start with this red corner. And what you first want to do is get two corners next to each other that belong next to each other. And as you can see, this corner piece has red, yellow, and green on it. So that means we either need to find another corner piece with red and yellow and put that here, or find one with red and green and put that here. Let's start with red and yellow, and let's try to find the other red and yellow corner. I can see it's right here, red, yellow, and blue. So what we need is to get this red and yellow corner here. And that's pretty easy. All we have to do is a right turn, 180 degrees, and now we have red and yellow next to each other. Then the other two reds will already be next to each other, and there's only three places it'll be. It'll either be up here, like that. It'll be below it, which was easy. We move it back up. Or the only other position is it'll be directly underneath these red ones. So here they are here, and that's easy. You just do a bottom turn and then a right turn. And now we have red on the top. We also need to get this red center because we want to solve the corners around their center. So this is orange, and so to get the red center here, all we have to do is turn the right side twice, or 360 degrees, and now we have our red center. Now we can turn it around and get these corners. And guess what? They're already solved, and no matter what you do, if the red corners are solved, the orange ones will be as well, or the opposite color will be. All we have to do now is turn the top until we get the centers matched up with the corners. So now you can see we have all of our corners matching up with our centers, and step one is done. Here we are at step two. We want to put the edges in their correct place. Now, what you want to do is you want to find two edges that need to switch places that are just across from a single center. So do these two edges need to switch? No. Um, do these two edges? No, they're in the right place already. Uh, these two? No. How about these two? Uh, let's see, R blue and purple. That needs to go between blue and purple. So this one needs to go here. And blue and yellow needs to go between blue and yellow. So yeah, these two do need to switch. Once you find two that need to switch, hold the puzzle like this so that the two that need to switch are up here, and we're gonna do this algorithm. Now, if you can't find any that need to switch, it doesn't matter how you hold it, just do this algorithm. Here it is. It's right two, up, right two, up. So as you can see, it did switch these edges. Now, once you've done that, go around and look for two more that need to switch. Let's see, do these, no. Blue and yellow. Oh, here we go, blue and red. That belongs between blue and red, so that goes here. And this one's blue and orange, and that belongs between blue and orange. So these two need to switch. So go ahead and hold the puzzle like this, the two that need to switch on top, and it's right two, up, right two, up. So as you can see, all the edges are now in the correct place, just some of them need to be oriented, and others, the gears need to be spun. So that's it for step two, time to do step three. Here we are at step three and we wanna orient the edges. As you can see this edge here, which is green and purple and belongs between the green and purple center is in the correct place. But you can see that this part here is green and this part here is purple. And purple should be by its center over here and green should be by its center over here. So it needs to flip. So this edge is misoriented. And when you're doing step three, you'll always have one of two cases. Case one, all the edges will already be oriented correctly and you can move on. 
or a case two, eight of your edges will need to be oriented. And the weird thing is the four that do not need to be oriented will all be in the same slice. And so you can see that this edge doesn't need to be oriented. The yellow inner piece here is next to the yellow center. And so that means every edge in this slice that this one is in will not need to be oriented. This one doesn't need to be, this one doesn't need to be, and this one doesn't need to be. So all the other edges, all the eight other edges will need to be oriented. What you want to do is you want to hold the puzzle like this so that the four edges that don't need to be oriented are in the standing slice. And then you can do this algorithm. It's very easy. It's right, up, right, up, right, up. Once you've done that, all the edges will be oriented and you'll be done with step three. So here we are at the last step. We want to rotate the gears and that'll solve the cube. Now this is the easiest step and it has the easiest algorithm ever. It's just R4. What you want to do is you want to get a gear that needs to be rotated in the up front position and then you just do R4, R1, R2, R3, and R4 and you can see that solve that gear as well as the other gears in that slice. So let's uh, do this one here. This one, let's, if we do our four, one, two, three, four, you can see it, uh, it actually didn't solve that one. So let me undo that. Now, if we had done our four just in reverse counterclockwise instead of clockwise, you can see that would have solved it. So the way to know whether or not to go clockwise or counterclockwise is pretty easy. If you see this rail here, to me, that's pointing down towards the right layer. That means turn the right layer down. So uh, that would be counterclockwise. One, two, three, four, and that solves it. So now let's look at this one. This one, what is it pointing to the right layer? On the right side, it's up. So that means you want to turn the right layer up or clockwise. One, two, three, four, and that's it. And uh, that's how you rotate the gears, and that's all how you solve the gear ball. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I had a lot of fun making it. I did also do a solve video a couple weeks back showing uh, some walkthrough solves with this method. So check that out if you want. And that's pretty much it. So thanks guys for watching. I do come out with new videos at least every other weekend and often more. In fact, this is the fourth weekend in a row with a video. And you can expect to see a new unboxing next weekend. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. And of course, have a great day.